Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Wednesday, February 7th. You'll be interested to know, 60 years ago, today, in 1964, marked the start of the British invasion in music as the Beatles arrived in New York City. This significant cultural moment reached its peak two nights later when an astounding 73 million Americans tuned in to watch their performance on The Ed Sullivan Show. This event not only showcased the Beatles' immense popularity, but also signaled a major shift in the American music scene. Now let's check out the weather in the Boston area. This morning, it feels like 24 degrees with eight mile per hour wind. Tonight, the sun will set at 5.05 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.50 a.m. It looks like we're in for some clouds to start, then gradually mostly sunny with a high near 39 and north wind around nine mile per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 27 and northeast wind at around six mile per hour. Looking ahead in the weather, We'll see a pleasant and mostly sunny Thursday with a high near 42 degrees and light northwest wind shifting east. The night will be partly cloudy and cooler, around 30 degrees. Friday and Saturday will be partly sunny with highs warming from 48 to 56 degrees, accompanied by a moderate south and southwest wind. Sunday offers more sunshine and a high near 51 degrees, but with brisk northwest wind. Nights throughout the period will be partly cloudy with temperatures in the mid-30s to upper 30s. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. Boston University has welcomed a new adorable member to their campus community, a 10 week old golden retriever, Beeve's first comfort dog. This young pup is already a campus favorite garnering attention and affection from students, faculty, and staff. She is in the caring hands of BUPD officer Giovanni Shavir and is currently undergoing training. The BEEV community has a unique opportunity to be involved in this initiative as they're invited to submit names for her on BU's Instagram. The winning name will be announced on February 12th by BU Police Chief Robert Lowe. The Comfort Dog Initiative was started by the former chief and current executive director of public safety, Kelly Nee. The puppy is being trained by Golden Opportunities for Independence in Walpole. Now on to sports. Jose Altuve, star of the Houston Astros, has just signed a five-year extension worth $125 million ensuring he remains with the team through his age 39 season. This deal marks a significant milestone in Altuve's career, already notable for his exceptional achievements. Over 13 years, Altuve has notched a 307 batting average, over 2,000 hits, 295 stolen bases, and 209 home runs. His impressive record includes eight all-star appearances, six silver sluggers, three batting titles, a gold glove, and an MVP. In postseason performance, Altuve stands out with 27 home runs and 89 runs scored, ranking second all time. This contract solidifies Altuve's place in Astros history and underscores his potential Hall of Fame trajectory. Last night, the Bruins got torched by the Flames 4-1. And tonight, the Celtics are at the Garden to take on the Hawks. In top news, dogs, known for their unwavering loyalty and companionship, 
also excel at reducing human anxiety and improving mood. Recent studies have highlighted the unique way dogs offer comfort and support, often surpassing human interaction in stressful situations. For instance, dog owners show smaller increases in blood pressure and heart rate during stress tests when their pets are present compared to those accompanied by a spouse or friend. This calming effect is attributed to dogs' non-judgmental support, their ability to read human emotions accurately, and their consistent, unconditional love. Additionally, speaking to dogs about emotional issues can be therapeutic as they listen without judgment or interruption. This interaction not only provides a sense of purpose and security, but also helps in emotional processing, offering a safe space for expression. This canine human bond, backed by psychological and physiological evidence, underscores the unique and beneficial role dogs play in human well being. In business news, Toyota Motors' hybrid vehicle sales are skyrocketing leading to a record $30 billion net profit forecast for the fiscal year. This surge is driven by the growing U.S. preference for hybrids over electric vehicles due to concerns about charging and cost. As a result, Toyota's shares have soared, with hybrids outselling electric vehicles in the U.S. The company, a pioneer in hybrid technology, is reaping the benefits of this shift in consumer preference. This trend has also influenced other automakers like General Motors and Ford to focus more on hybrid models. Despite lagging in electric vehicle sales, Toyota's leadership in hybrids continues to strengthen its market position. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is at 43,000, Ethereum is about $2,375, and Solana is almost $97. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk science. NASA's Ingenuity helicopter on Mars, a groundbreaking project, has completed its mission. Initially part of the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover mission, it was added in May 2018. Designed to survive 30 days and fly five missions, Ingenuity exceeded expectations by lasting nearly three years and completing 72 flights. Its last flight occurred on January 18, 2024, after which damage to one of its rotors was discovered. This innovative craft, weighing about four pounds on Earth, required unique design solutions due to Mars' thin atmosphere. Ingenuity's successful mission has paved the way for future space exploration, marking a significant achievement in interplanetary aviation. And in entertainment news, in a groundbreaking move, Disney's ESPN, Fox Corporation, and Warner Brothers Discovery are collaborating to launch a comprehensive sports streaming service. This platform, set to debut in the fall, will feature a vast array of sports content, including NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, and FIFA World Cup games, as well as NASCAR, USC, and PGA Tour Golf. Each company holds a one-third ownership in this venture. The pricing and name of the service are yet to be announced. This initiative represents a significant shift in the media landscape with traditional broadcasters adapting to the growing trend of streaming, challenging dominant players like Netflix, Amazon, and Apple. The new service aims to cater to the increasing number of consumers moving away from traditional cable subscriptions, 
offering a diverse range of live sports events in one accessible location. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from Paul McCartney. And the Beatles frontman said, I'll give you all I've got to give. If you say you love me too. I may not have a lot to give, but what I got, I'll give to you. I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me love. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends.